Good afternoon. This is Gaps in the Brain and Mind, The Effect of White Matter Hyperintensities on Cognition by Piper Stevens, advised by Dr. Katherine Bangin. A little bit of background, white matter hyperintensities are lesions on the brain often seen in brain imaging scans, such as MRI and CT. These lesions are filled with biological fluids, such as cerebrospinal fluid. They are largely associated with the elderly, and so they've been strongly linked to aging and dementia. With the boomer generation's increase in life expectancy, we've also seen an increase in chronic conditions. And so previous research has suggested that there may be an association between the locale of white matter hyperintensities and their effect on cognition. Moreover, there's a strong connection of white matter hyperintensities to cardiovascular disease. Um, vascular risk factors have been strongly associated with higher risk of white matter hyperintensity. Moreover, white matter hyperintensities have been strongly correlated to increased likelihood of stroke, cognitive impairment, dementia, and death. So we wanted to look into um, how white matter hyperintensity volume in each of the lobar regions affects executive functioning and memory. Moreover, we, we wanted to look into does increased stroke risk have an effect on total white matter hyperintensity volume? Our participants were 58. We had 34 female and 14 male, aging in range from 55 to 84, a mostly homogenous group of white participants. They were recruited from ongoing aging studies at UCSD. They underwent MRI scans, neuropsychological battery, the Framingham stroke risk profile. And from there, we segmented the brains. We used masks, uh, low bar masks borrowed from the WFU PIC Atlas and um, analyzed the volume of each of these white matter hyperintensities first by total volume and normalized by their estimated total intracranial volume, um, and then found it region by region as in terms of the sublobar region, the occipital region, parietal, frontal, et cetera. So results, we found a huge um, distribution of white matter hyperintensity volume in each of the lobe regions. They were transformed logarithmically because of their positive skew. Um, we also ran a number of correlations on memory, executive functioning, percent stroke risk, and pulse pressure. So for memory, we only saw a significant relationship between uh, with frontal white matter hyperintensity volume and sublobar white matter hyperintensity volume. Moreover, executive functioning only saw significant relationships with total white matter hyperintensity volume, no singular low bar regions. Uh, moreover, stroke risk was strongly associated with total white or total white matter hyperintensity volume, um, as well as pulse pressure. But when we looked into it further, we found that white matter hyperintensity volumes in each of the low bar regions was associated significantly with percent stroke risk and pulse pressure. So we found no significant relationships between frontal lobe, um, white matter hyperintensity volumes and executive functioning. We found no significant relationship between temporal lobe, uh, white matter hyperintensity volume and memory. However, we found that higher frontal lobe and sublobar um, white matter hyperintensity volumes were associated with lower memory. This aligns with previous research that suggests that higher frontal lobe white matter hyperintensity volume relates to poor delayed recall memory. Moreover, we found a largely positive relationship between vascular risk and total white matter hyperintensity volume. This coincides with the notion that reduced vascularity caused by any sort of ischemia likely increases the uh, progression of white matter hyperintensity volumes. Limitations included a small homogeneous sample size. Moreover, we only investigated cognitively normal and mildly cognitively impaired participants. Uh, future directions include use of a larger, more diverse sample, um, re-evaluation of participants, and uh, the use of functional MRI in coalition with uh, the previous data collected. Thank you so much.